Hi, my name is Grace Shalom Hopkins and welcome to another episode of Spin Weekly. This week we are making a three-step rainbow fractal. Stay tuned. It's a new part of my house. My normal studios are actually right over there, but there's no overhead light, which is right over there. And it's almost midnight when I'm filming this, so no baby bean, which is sad because I know this is really the baby bean show, but instead you get a, a blank wall. That's kind of a lame swap. <laughs> but you're not here to talk about my, uh, my studio situation. So I started this with a atomic fiber company. I keep wanting to say atomic flu. Atomic fiber company uh, ultra fine merino rainbow, which I unboxed, links down below. And I was reading Felicia Lowe's new book, which I also have links to that down below. And she showed the difference between a two-step fractal and a three-step fractal and I was really interested in that and wanted to try it out because it felt a lot more organic and fractal is one of the things that I love the most so I was like this is what I want to do so I picked a rainbow because that was really bold and in your face even though I do prefer a more organic um, not a semi-solid but I feel like it's better on more subtle colors because then it's a lot more organic. But this one you can see the changes and they're like popping in your face, which is what I wanted. So that's what I got. <laughs> now, before we jump into the video, I want to say two things. One, I have a voiceover for this on my Patreon page and you can support me and get this video along with things like a complete uncut version of the show uh, not all the shows some of the shows and Various other cool. Thank you swag links down below, but I did want to really tell you what I was doing here uh, So you knew how to do it yourself if you wanted to so a regular fractal is Hold my yarn with my knees. A regular flat fractal is you split the roping into two pieces with the grain and on one side you just spin it into end straight through you don't do anything fancy and then the other side you split it as many times as possible with the grain and then spin those consecutively end to end and then ply together. So what you get is big chunks of color in the original order with teeny repeats of that original order within it. Now, the three-step fractal, I'm out of breath because that was so exciting to explain. <laughs> so you split your fiber into three pieces with the grain. One of them, you spin all the way through, side to side. The second one, you split into four pieces and spin them end to end consecutively set it aside and then the other one you split into eight pieces and spin end to end consecutively set it aside and then all of those you ply together three ply so then you get big chunks medium chunks and small chunks all working together and it's a lot more subtle i'm actually gonna get the book and show you her example picture okay so this is the book and we gotta find, there we go. So this one is a two-step fractal and this one's a three-step fractal. So you can see the difference there. One's a lot more subtle and one's a lot more blocky. Okay, this one is the two-ply and this one's the three-ply. Two play, three play. There you go. Okay, so now that you know what I'm doing, I'm going to show you the video so you can see what's happening and watch this spin all the way through in all of its rainbow fractally goodness.
Okay, so we're back. So this is the final yarn. That's what it looks like. And then I'll insert photos. Um, my mother is coming back from Ghana soon. And as usual, I hope to weave this up so you can see it more. Actually, all of the yarns that I've spun on the show for the last two years are in my to weave pile to bring to Springfield. So hopefully I'm gonna have tons of samples and you'll be able to see those on my Instagram as I go. Um, definitely Patreon. And hopefully I'll do a YouTube video where I specifically show you the samples. So we'll see. And then I'll probably go through and link that at the bottom of each of these videos. But as of September 1st right now, that hasn't happened yet. So maybe in the future, future people check down below to see if it's linked, I guess. That's my plan. Um, anyway, I really love it. I think it's super soft. Like I actually am happy with this merino and you longtime viewers know that is a phrase you didn't ever expect me to say. I really enjoyed when I was plying, seeing which color was going to come up. Like, are we going to be two plies green, one ply red? Or is every ply going to be a different color? Or are they all going to be the same three plies purple? So I thought that was really fun. Even though I weighed out the fibers, um, I did have quite a bit of runoff. Um, so I knew that the eight was going to be, they were about 0.10 ounces heavier than the other three. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> but that ended up being a lot more extra yarn than I anticipated. I was like, oh, that's not going to be bad. I'll just spin it a little thicker than the other ones. Eh. Oh, well. So this is the ball of two ply. So I took the rest and just two plied it. And then when that ran out, I had this teeny little bit that I just in plied and had this little i'll just show you a little ploop i think this will be fun for weaving so again um you'll see these in weaving and i think that'll be handy but there you go i like that i think that's cool i do think in the future i want to do another three-step fractal video for you guys doing a more subtle colorway to see what that is like. Um, in the meantime, uh, comment if you've done a three-step fractal. How did it work for you? Any tips? What is your favorite colorway to spin as a three-ply fractal? Any thoughts whatsoever pertaining to the three-ply fractal topic? Hit the like button if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to subscribe to more of these fibery shenanigans which actually was pretty low key this time. Having Baby Bean in bed when I film these outros <laughs> makes it seem like super chill. Um, I don't know if I like it. I like her crazy. I like my kid. Who knew? Who would have thunk it? I like my child. What can I say? Anyway, also as per usual, this video is brought to you by our Patreon patrons. I've already told you some of the awesome things that you can get in return for being a financial supporter of the show, but I want to take this opportunity to thank all of the Patreon people. Right now, I am thinking of Jessica and Carrie and Christina and Elspeth and hmm. Those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head. You guys are awesome. I love you. You make all this possible. This is my praise hands. I recently discovered emojis, so I've been praise handing everybody, and I feel like it's bled over like I'm a, a middle schooler who says LOL in real life. Now I'm praise handing in real life. <laughs> Funny story. Uh, I went and got my smoothie and the kid dabbed because he was impressed with it and my like I'm so cool I'm not even that old comment was oh I know what dabbing is I saw a YouTube video about that and I was like I'm sorry bro that was possibly the most lamest 
lamest response I could have ever given. How much more uncool can I get? Not much more. And he thought it was hilarious. He was probably like 16, so. <sighs> 24 years old and already noting that I know what a dab is because I saw it on YouTube. There's no hope. Hey, at least I can spin cool sheep stuff. With that strange story, I am gonna go before I share anything more that's completely unrelated to this video.